Hi, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to create chart theme of 2014 of WordPress 3.8. So the first step is you go to Google and look for chart theme WordPress codex. There it is, and you just click it. And here in this page, we can just copy this text and then we go back to our cPanel where you install your WordPress. So it should look like this and it should be here in wp-content directory double click it and here go to themes directory and you might have many of them but for this demo I'm just having two of them because I delete some so here you're going to uh, create new folder going to plus button or if you use FTP client just create new folder and then I will rename it as my uh, 14, uh, sorry, 2014 chart theme. So create new folder and in here we're going to, we're going to uh, double click it and then here we're going to create new file. It will be called style.css and then create new file button and here we're going to edit it. You can go with code editor and click edit. And here we're going to paste that text that we just copied earlier. So I'm just to paste it. And you're going to uh, modify some if you want to, but you don't have to. But um, for me personally, I will just modify some. For example, I'm just modify the theme URI as my blog URL. And the name. And again, my blog URL. And here I will leave by default and as you can see this is already the uh, chart theme of your 2014 theme so we now going to hit save changes and then go back to our um, dashboard and then go to uh, appearance and themes and here as you can see we have now 2014 chart as we uh, have it earlier. So now we're going to hit activate. So now if it's activated, you, we can visit our site. And there it is. It's quite the same, but uh, if we look for um, page source, it shows that we're using now my 2014. So it's, it, it's used already, uh, your child theme. So the next step is you can modify anything you like in CSS or anything. But for this demo, I'm just giving you a small example. For example, now I'm going to change the color of this black sidebar. So I'm using Firebug and inspect this element. And it says div ID secondary. Just copy that div. And go back to my um, C panel again. And here in the chart theme CSS, we're going to um, modify simple stuff so div secondary and I would like to have the background color so div secondary and then uh, open brackets and background dash color and colon and I want to have it as uh, what color I'm going to just use this blue nice color and uh, smile colon and then a uh, closing brackets and now we're going to hit save, save changes and we go back to our site and refresh our site. And it must be something wrong. So we go back to our CSS again. Ah, okay. So I don't know why. Ah, I missed this. We missed this. So just make sure that you copy all of them. So I just missed this line okay or you can just do like this and it's the same so we're going to hit save changes again and let's refresh our blog and let's hope that we have another color of sidebar you see it's not really nice combination but that's just a small example how you can change things with your uh, 2014 child theme. So thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourself and goodbye.